Why does Chris Potter play in all 12 keys? What is the motivation for John Coltrane to play blues in all 12 keys? These questions have the most easy answer because all 12 keys are music and music is not complete without all 12 keys. <laughs> You need all 12 keys because maybe you once played tuna, which moves around in three different keys. You might play on Green Dolphin Street, which has four keys in the first eight bars. You're definitely going to play a rhythm change, which has four different keys. There are a bunch of great ways to practice all 12 keys. It's important you know your major scales. Since the jazz theory we know is built around the major scale, the major scales are essential to know. All our major scales have the same buildup, and almost all the jazz theory is in that one scale. You need to practice in a way so that you can fit all the chord and the scale material directly into your tunes. For example, here in Green Dolphin Street, the scales are. <laughs> simple but when you do this you definitely sound like an exercise i really want to help you check out the 12 keys in a musical way so go to my patreon page and download the lesson manual where i added all these examples <laughs> when you practice turn these scales around and split them up in the beginning I split the scale up in small bits fitting between the chord notes look in this F major scale you see the system from 1 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 7 to 9 you see from which chord note I play to and from the bridge of a rhythm change is four dominants and as you see the dominant chord is the fifth degree in our major scale so learning your major scale is not the only thing you need to do. You need to play all the functions of the scale. Here I'm starting on the fifth degree, the dominant chord, the dominant scale. And playing this scale exercise just going up is a bit boring. Don't be boring, be creative. <laughs> It's much more interesting when you make a little scale lick and actually move this around the keys. It's also much more musical. Another trick is to add the 2 in front of the 5 in the rhythm bridge. Then you get a 2-5, the subdominant chord and the dominant chord. So these are the 2-5-1s over a rhythm bridge. Of course you can take this around the 12 keys, moving it through the circle of 5th. <laughs> The 2 5 lick is played over two bars. And now you're both training the 2 chord, the second degree, and the 5 chord, the fifth degree, the subdominant and the dominant in one lick. Go to the Patreon and find lots of these 2 5 licks in all 12 keys around the circle of fifth. Looking at Green Dolphin Street, there are other ways to move around the 12 keys. And you need to know these because they give great musical sense. Play your patterns chromatically down too. <laughs> So this is moving a simple major pattern down the chromatic scale. And remember to apply these licks immediately to your tunes. Here's on Green Dolphin Street going down those major chords. <laughs> In the rhythm change you can use this chromatic pattern too. Here playing a lick over the 2-5 progression. In bar 3 and 4 and 7 and 8 I have tritone substituted the 2-5, which means I get chromatically moving chords. Think of really great licks you really like and move these around in all 12 keys, either chromatically or through the circle of 5th. Like this great Coltrane link. When I'm practicing, I'm always thinking about 
how can I apply this to my music? I've done this in this lesson manual, adding all the licks to the circle of fifth or chromatically moving up or down. Take a step further into your development and look at these two videos, John Coltrane and Chris Potter. Play music, have fun.